Benjamin Newman is a uh, professor and chair of biological sciences at Texas A&M University and joins us now. Uh, good to have you on the show. Tell us, how confident are you that China can really contain the coronavirus? Because it's just moving so fast. The numbers are staggering. The Chinese government is doing a wonderful job in uh, trying to actually move ahead and go as quickly as possible. I think, though, even in the best case scenario, from the number of cases that we have right now, you're talking about somewhere between two and three months for the last case to actually work its way out of the system if they were able to stop transmission right now. So there's a big task, and there are going to be a lot more people um, that have to be treated in hospitals like this new one before uh, the end actually comes. Now, what we've seen uh, developments this past week were a lot of different groups, uh, governmental groups and uh, charitable organizations lining up funding for trying to produce new vaccines and uh, new medications. This is a once in a lifetime potentially um, chance to actually test those out because there have been years and years of development, but until there's an actual outbreak, there's no way to actually check if these things work in the field and are as effective as uh, everyone hopes that they would be. Okay, and uh, internationally, uh, Benjamin, are travel bans enough, do you think? Travel bans, if they are targeted at people who are contacts of coronaviruses, could be effective. But for the most part, what I think you're going to see with travel bans is that you're going to exacerbate some of the damage. So the actual damage from the virus will only affect a few people who have actually caught this. But if it's anything like the original SARS, the actual economic damage is going to far outstrip the sort of personal damage um, on this thing. And travel bans would be a big cause of that. Mm -hmm. And so right now, I like what I'm seeing um, in that some countries are bringing people uh, home or bringing people back and just putting them into quarantine. Mm -hmm. After about two weeks in quarantine, there's really no um, need for concern about this virus. And that still allows travel around the world. I think that's a really good way to go forward. Benjamin, you're sounding very confident and optimistic. Um, so you say you like what you see. Um, tell us about the U.S. in particular. Um, 15 cases, I believe. Tell us what the U.S. is doing. And are you happy with what you see there? Right now, what we see is um, a lot of scattered responses. So there, all these hospitals have been trained. They've received the same sort of guidance, and they're all working from the same play sheet, trying to go through the same sort of protocols to keep everyone safe. So there's a bit of coordination at that level, but right now, most of it is still in the planning process. We don't have a great big national stockpile of, um, for example, trained doctors. We don't have uh, necessarily uh, large stockpiles of some of the equipment that they would need. And a lot of that, I believe, does come from China. And so for now, everything's all right. But uh, if this is uh, prolonged, then we'll have to look at uh, some other ways potentially to get some of those uh, devices and protective equipment. Benjamin Newman from Texas A&M University. Pleasure to have you on the show.